Again, remember she's not done with force fetch, so we don't use the F word in the field, heel. All right, what's going on everybody? This is Bob from Lone Duck and we've got Sway. She is a Lone Duck puppy from our Memphis and Bow Litter and we are gonna work on a steadiness drill. She's fired up for her bumper. We've built retrieve drive. We're only, ah, hey, come here. We're only about halfway through force fetch and I don't start formal steadiness until force fetch is done. But this is a drill that we like to do to start that process. Come here, girl. So I've got my handy dandy check cord here. I've got the DT bumper here, the old soft mouth extravaganza set and super easy to do. Uh, remember, again, one of the keys is we don't steady up too soon. I wanna use all the retrieve drive in the world to build a confident marking duck dog, but now it's time to start asking a little bit more of her, right? I'm gonna start with a funsy. Hey, 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 go get him, girl. Good dog, all right, come here, girl. Hey, 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 good girl. Snag my bumper. Again, remember, she's not done with force fetch, so we don't use the F word in the field. Heel, sit, sit. I'm gonna pop the lead a little bit. Sit, I'm gonna sit, here, sit, good. I've got my check cord on in case she were to break. Sit, sit. Sit. Oh, no, no. Good girl. So I'm going to stop her forward progress. What we call these, we call these denials, right? I'm going to deny the retrieve for movement. I'm throwing the bumper in between me and the dog so that if she were to move, I can block her or step on the check cord and catch her before she gets the retrieve. If she gets the retrieve, not the end of the world because this is session one, day one, no big deal. So I'm walking back. I'm going to grab my bumper. I'm watching my dog. Sit. Sit, sit, sway, sway. So because she was steady, I'm gonna give her the reward of the bumper. Hey, 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 well we wanna kinda pair with this dog and I'm not trying to do it all in one session. This is, you know, five, six, eight, ten. Come on, had a girl, hey, hey, sit, good, sit. You know, this is over the course of many sessions that we practice this. I'm gonna deny her this one. Sit, sit, sway. Atta girl, what a good dog. Good girl, come on, atta baby. Good, okay, there you go, okay, here. Sit, sit, good. One, two, ooh, sit. Buddy, sway, there you go. She's looking pretty good. Remember, if they break, we want to put them back where they broke from. Here, girl. Good. We want to throw the bumper behind us when we're starting out so that I can be in between her and the bumper so I can catch her if she breaks. And I'm going to do, let's just say, two denials, one retrieve. If the dog really, really is amped up and breaking every time, I'm going to do more denials. I want them to still have fun during this. I don't want them to be bummed out or bored because we still want to maintain high retrieve drive. Hey, hey, hey. So I'll give her a fun bumper. I'll mix it up. Hey, good girl, come on. But it's the beginning stages of what your steady dog will look like. Here, um, there's a term we use in training. It's called attrition. Here, set. Attrition is doing the same thing over and over again until you can't get it wrong. And so I'm not using any e-collar pressure. I'm not using, um, anything other than this check cord and maybe a no to make my correction set and we're just going to repeat until we can't get it wrong good dog good denial right there she's she's still perked up and excited set set oh good dog good dog set i'll oh, because she did good i'm gonna let her have this one set sway good girl from here I do like to start this on like a place board. 
unfortunately, rest in peace, ours got ran over. But we could do it from a place board to start with on the ground, so place board first, on the ground like we just did with sway second, third step would be add the mole marsh. Set. Sway. Good dog. Um, and it's just like a step-by-step -step process, real quick, real easy. We're only going to do a couple at a time, um, maintaining her enthusiasm. Here, kennel. But starting to build the art of steadiness. The next step for this is going to be taking it to the field with a bird thrower, um, you know, a boom or a gunshot out in the field, kennel. And every time you add that stuff, excitement level builds. Sit. This drill is low excitement level. So it's easier to gain control, kennel. It's easier to gain control and it's easier to kind of build that idea of wait till you hear my name, wait till you're sent because it's just me and a bumper and a check cord and a dog. When you start adding helpers, duck calls, shots in the field with a boom gun or a 22 and shots from your side, that steadiness that you just saw Sway have is literally gonna go out the window. But, here, kennel. But, we've got a bit of an understanding. It's that foundation that we're building here. Kennel, look at you. You're gonna have to practice a little bit more. Sit. Um, it's that foundation that we're building so that when we go to apply it in the field, there's this much understanding. So hope you enjoyed that video. It's gonna be extremely helpful to have a steady dog in the duck blind. It's not only safe for you and your buddies, but safe for the dog. So let's get into the next steps with another dog.